Welcome back. Today I am going to attempt to solve some more puzzles on chess.com. I have got my rating up to 1127 and hopefully I'll get higher than that. All right, uh, this looks like that's checkmate there in the corner because they can't block it and they can't get out of it. Okay, well fortunately I started off with an easy one. I do not expect that they will all be mates in one. Ooh, the theme was past pawns. There actually was a past pawn here, so I will leave that alone, but I think the theme here is mate in one. So I'll add that, and despite me trying not to pay attention to the themes, I found that I could not not pay attention to them, so I am going to correct them when I see them. Let's solve some more puzzles. Okay, again, we have a passed pawn, and this time it's one square from promotion. I think I have a checkmate here, and I think it's going to involve a queen sacrifice. And I did notice my bishop sitting down here on a2, pointed right there at that rook. If I take that rook right now... I think they're going to promote with check, and I can't move that rook to block the check because this queen is pointing right through here, and so I'd have to move my king over there, and then they're going to check over here, and it's going to be getting pretty close to mate because when I move out of check there, they're going to move this newly created queen into the thing, and that's going to be mate, right? It looks like I have a mate in three if I just take that rook now, so I think I have to check now, and they're going to take that with their rook, and instead of taking back, I'm going to move my rook down here, which will be check. If they move the rook back, I'll just take it because, again, my bishop guards that square, and that would be mate. So I think they'll block with the queen first, and I'll have to take that. And then they'll block with the rook, and I'll take that. Okay, they did that. I have to go down here. Oh, and it did not continue. Theme was rooks on the seventh. I did have a rook on the seventh, and the theme was pin. I don't see that anything is pinned, but I'm going to leave it alone just because I'm not sure, and I don't want to waste too much time. I do not have any checks in this position because my knight's in the way. And even, even if it wasn't in the way, that wouldn't be a great check because I would just lose my queen. However, I could take that knight, which, oh, that is a check also. I, ha I do have, wait, I have a mate. That's just checkmate. Okay. That's checkmate because the king can't move anywhere except here, and my knight also guards that square. So, yeah, that's checkmate in one. I will add that as a theme. Is there a, is there a version for a knight checkmate? I don't think so. There's a knight outpost, but no, no knight checkmate. Oh, a new personal best, 33 in a row. I think that is a personal best, or really close. Uh, my voice seems, it feels weak today, so if, you can, if you're having trouble hearing me, I apologize. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just my sensation. I am more conscious of that now that I am doing these recordings almost every day, sometimes every day, become much more conscious of things like the way that my voice sounds. I do have a check in this position. I have that check too, but that looks bad. So I'm going to focus on this check here on c6. That leaves the king... No, that's bad. Wow. I was going to say that leaves the king only one legal move, but I think the knight would just capture there, wouldn't it? So let's think about something else. Well, first, let's follow that out. What if the knight captures and then I captured with my pawn, which would also be check. I think the king would just take it. I would have a follow-up check, and then the king could just escape. So I don't think that it is sacrificing the queen here. I don't think that it's sacrificing the queen here. But let's follow that out too, just in case. I think the pawn would capture. And and I don't think that I would have any follow-up checks because, I mean, I would have technically have a follow-up check here, but they would just capture that. This bishop is kind of ineffectual because my own pawn is in the way. So it might not be a check here. It might be a capture. Is there any other way to check? I think, wait, there's a check too. King would capture. I could follow up check with one of the rooks, but then the king could just go back. Okay, so I, I trying to get all the checks. I mean, that's a check. To, wait, I almost missed that check. But that pawn is only guarded by the king, so the king couldn't take because my rook is also pointed at a6, and that's mate. I almost missed that. I saw this, I saw this, and I saw that. But I think that's checkmate because the king couldn't, won't have any escape squares that aren't guarded by the king. And I only got five points for that because of how long it took me to see it. Suggest theme, made in one. Next puzzle. There is a check here on the back rank. King cannot escape this way because my other rook is protecting that whole F file. The king could escape. Let's see. If I check on E8, there are choices at that point. They would have two legal moves at that point. One would be moving the king up to G7. The other would be blocking with the queen. I think blocking with the queen would be bad. Because I could just take it, and my rooks would be protecting each other, then the king would still have to go to g7. So my guess is that the king is going to go to g7. If the king goes to g7, I could check it again with my knight. 
which would be protected by the rook down there on e8. The king couldn't go back there because my rook's cutting off that entire rank. The king can't come up here because of the pawn. Okay, so let's go. If the king comes up and I check with my knight, their only choices... Wait, yeah, my, my f rook cuts off all of this and my pawn cuts off this and my back rank rook there on the 8th rank would cut off all of that. So the king could not move. The only choice would be for the queen to capture and then I would take the queen with my rook. I think that's it. Okay, so this was not about checkmate, although it was close because the king was fairly cut off, but it was about winning the queen because um, it was their only way out. But there isn't, there isn't a theme for that, is there? And you cannot see that pop-up list for some reason, the way that browsers are constructed. And even though I'm screen recording, I don't know how this works. I'm recording the screen, but for some reason this pop-up list, I can see it, but you can't. Queen sacrifice? Well, for them it was. But for me, it was just, I don't think there's a theme that covers that situation, so. Moving on. Wait, is this another one? Just a knight checkmate here? Does anything of the opponents guard that square? Because from there the knight would hit both of those and the king cannot move. So that is checkmate. No theme listed. I will put mate in one. Oh, that, that puzzle only has a pass rate of 51%. It's been attempted over 3,000 times. So 3,700 times. So something like 1,800 people didn't see that check or saw it but didn't evaluate it correctly. That might have been me the first time I saw a puzzle like that. Okay, the king had to move out of check, and apparently it moved the wrong way. I guess if it had gone back, I could have followed up over there. I don't know why it didn't, why it couldn't go there. Its only choices were to go where it went, to go over here, to go over here. If it had gone forward, I would have taken the bishop with check. If it had gone back, I would have taken the pawn with check, I think. I don't know if all of those would have been great, but here I have something. What is it? I can still take that pawn with check. I notice that our rooks are facing each other. I don't think I should take the rook. Let's see. If I take the rook, my knight's hanging and my rook would be hanging two different ways. And I would be in danger of getting back ranked uh, myself, which I am currently in danger of now that, I, now that I think about it. Because I would have to block with my bishop and then they would take and that would be mate. And I can't come forward to escape. So I have to either mate, checkmate my opponent right now or be in danger of being back ranked. And I don't think I want to check here with my knight on d5, because if they took, I would be in danger of getting back ranked. And if I captured them, then I, oh no, my, my, I have a bishop guarding that square. Okay. I just don't have anything guarding this square. But so I, I don't think it's just giving up the knight, right? Also, they don't have to take it with the rook. They could move out of, wait. Oh, well, that would block my rook. So they would have two different choices of places to move the king at that point either of which would be a discovered check after I moved my knight someplace. What about that, though? Is that, is that checkmate? I, sh I should have paid more attention to that the first time I mentioned it, because I, I have noticed that from there, my knight would cut off the square that it's currently on. It would hit the square that the king is currently on. My rook cuts off all of these, and my bishop cuts off those, and nothing of the opponents guarding that square. So yes, that took me too long to see because there were too, so many options, but that is checkmate because the king had nowhere to go. No theme listed. I'm going to put made in one. Uh, if you haven't heard me say this before, the good thing about endgame puzzles is that there are so few options. I'm playing with the black pieces. I only have a king and two pawns. I don't think it's moving the B pawn, and I'm going to count that out immediately because they would just take it, and then this pawn couldn't move, I think. I think it's moving the A pawn, creating a passed pawn, because their C pawn can't move right now. It's stuck until their king gets over here and, and clears out my pawns. And that's a long road for that king to walk, to get down here, to clear off that pawn. I guess it could come this way. But that's still several moves. So their C pawn is stuck. But there's nothing blocking my A pawn. If their H pawn moves forward, I can always step a s next to it, and they can't come protect it at that point, because my king would be cutting off all those squares. And they can't currently move their king closer to that pawn right now either. So my king is effectively stopping their h-pawn. My b-pawn is stopping their c-pawn. So I think my answer is to move the a-pawn two squares. Now if I do that, I don't know what my opponent will try. And they catch it. That's the question. Let's uh, clear off all the arrows so we're not distracted here. I don't think they can catch it, and I will promote. So they will try something else, like moving this, and I'll get next to it. Okay, they are going to try to catch it for some reason. Wait, did I miscalculate? No, they can't catch it. Oh, and it stops there. 
That's very interesting. I thought they were going to try to move one of these pawns to distract me from the from moving that pawn, but they didn't. I only got six points for that, but the theme here is uh, past pawns. I'm going to add that, and I'm going to also say end game tactics. Next puzzle. Okay, well, it's not a knight checkmate this time, because I don't have a knight close enough to their king. Also, their king has multiple squares to which it can move. They have just challenged my queen. If I take it, I assume they would just take back, and I could take their bishop, and that would double their pawns, but that, I mean, that doesn't seem great. If I take their knight now, they could take my queen, and then I would have to double my pawns, and then they would get my bishop, and we would be even, but I would have doubled pawns. I don't think it's a good idea to take here because that just looks bad. Okay. I do notice, I don't think it's relevant, but both of my pieces are pointed at the F7 square. But again, I don't think that's relevant. Do I, I don't have any checks in this position. I can't check because that knight's in the way. Um, this bishop's on the wrong colored square. None of my knights are close enough. Uh, I can't check with my queen. Let's see. If I take, they could take with the knight and then I would hit their bishop and double their pawns. Or they could take with this on and then... Um, I just don't know. Okay. I think if I take, the, no, if I take the knight first, yeah, and then they take my queen, then I'm guarding my queen with my bishop. So if I take the knight first, and if they take back, then I take there. Okay, so it is taking the knight first. I just picked up an extra piece. Either way, I was going to pick up an extra piece. That also took me a little while to figure out, but less than half the people. Okay, this one's been attempted 31,000 times. And less than half the people who've tried it have passed it. So I feel good about that. It only has a 44% pass rate, but no theme was listed. I didn't see a theme that really matched that. It was just a matter of figuring out that I had an extra piece at the end of that exchange. Not sure what my opponent should have done, but it does look like they have mate incoming. That's mate in one, right? It's the pawn guards that square, so I would not be able to escape that mate. So I need to deliver a checkmate of my own. Can I do that, is the question. I don't think it's a queen sacrifice, because I would have a follow-up check, but then they would just go back, and I would have a follow-up check with my rook, but then they would take that, and, and I have a pawn on the h-file, so this other rook can't get over there. And even if it could, it can't mate down there. So it might be a rook sacrifice. That's going to be my guess. If they take, then I will check here with this rook, and their only legal move would be to... or they have to take, don't they? Yeah, they can't move because my queen's guarding that file, so they have to take. Then I will check with this rook. They'll have to go here, and that will be checkmate. Swallow's tail or dovetail mate? Oh, it just stopped there. Okay, so I can't add the theme of mate in two or mate in three because it didn't keep going. Next puzzle. Another endgame puzzle. Okay, I'm playing with the black pieces. Looks like my opponent is a pawn ahead, and it's, it's that pawn. That pawn is advancing. If I bring my king forward to follow that pawn, I think they're going to bring their king forward to follow that pawn. And their king would be guarding the pawn as well as the square in front of it. And the pawn is guarding this square, so my king couldn't go any further with that. And they could go further with their pawn. So I don't think that's it. I don't think it's chasing that pawn. This pawn can't move, so it's not that. This pawn can move one of two ways, but either way it gets captured and creates a passed pawn that my opponent... I mean, that I might will, might have trouble stopping. So that leaves a rook move. Simple process of elimination tells me it's the rook move. Uh, the rook could capture this, but my opponent's pawns are going this way, so they would just take it. And then no matter what I did, they would take this pawn on the next turn. So my suggestion is to go here, where my rook would be protected by the pawn. So if they took my rook, I would promote. And if they took the pawn, which would then be unprotected, then I would come over here, threatening checkmate. They would have to block, and then I would capture, and that would be mate. Because from there, my rook would cut off this entire file, and my king is cutting off these squares, so their king could not escape. Oh, and it didn't keep going. So frustrating. Now I can't add a theme. No wonder it doesn't have a theme. And my opponent has a passed pawn. I am playing with the white pieces. I do not have a mate there because of the... Oh, I have a mate over here, don't I? Okay, I saw that more quickly. That's checkmate because my knight cuts off that square. That's where I was thinking of going first, but their queen covers that. But from here, my queen cuts off these squares and those, and my knight hits that one. So let's add maiden one to that one. And next puzzle. Another in-game puzzle. Well, maybe I need these. Oh, black pieces. I am drastically outnumbered, but my opponent is stuck. So that's mate, because my king cuts off these squares. Maiden one. Let's add that. 
They couldn't even block on this one. A new personal best, it says. Well, it said that when I had 33, right? And I haven't missed one since, so of course, each one I solve will be a new personal best. Next puzzle. All right, this one's harder. I do not have any checks. I can capture a piece, but they would capture back. I can threaten their queen here, but I assume they would take, then I could take. Or they wouldn't have to take with their knight. They could just take my bishop, and then my knight would be hanging. But currently my knight is not doing well, so I should do something with it. Let's see. If I capture this pawn, I'm not threatening anything, so I think they would go ahead and take my knight. Okay, this one, this one is going to throw me. I, ha I have two hanging pieces. Wait, can I, can I just take that pawn and protect the bishop at the same time? What do they have if I do that? They don't have, I mean, they have a check, but they don't have any mates. Yes, yeah, sh so I should just take that pawn. But then what are they going to do? They're going to take here. And then if I take that, they'll take my, my bishop. Because right, oh, right now I'm, I'm up on material, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like they should have just taken that now. Because I'm up a minor piece at this point. So yeah, I should take this. And then if they take that, we'll just trade it. Well, I might miss this one, but because that's the only thing I see. Okay, I did miss it. There was something else. Let's look at the... Uh, I want to look at the analysis board, but I can't do that until after I click the hint button. It's, it does say to take that, which looks like it just gives up a... All right, I'm going to go to the analysis board. Hopefully that shows up. My opponent played that, and it's not good for me to for me to take on d5 for some reason. What, what's the downside of that? It says because they... Oh, because they would take there with the pawn. But then we would still be even... But they took with the pawn, so looks like we're even on material and even on the evaluation. Okay, so that's the problem with that. Okay, so this is my only move that maintains an advantage is here. Surprisingly enough, that actually is slightly better than zero for me. But then they would just take back with the... Oh no, it says they wouldn't take back. They would take here. Okay, but my best move by far is to take this pawn. And their best move is to take back, not to take my bishop. Oh, because their queen is hanging. So they have to take the knight. And then I take back. Okay, and I'm still up a minor piece and a pawn. So I just I just went up a pawn on that exchange and saved pieces that were hanging. Okay, that one's a little more complex, quite a bit more complex than what I'm used to, but I don't want to get bogged down on it. Since the theme was defense, I maybe it looked like just an exchange where I picked up a pawn. Next puzzle. The reason I don't want to get bogged down in it is, number one, I want to solve as many as I can here in this short amount of time, rather than spending this whole video trying to figure out one puzzle. Uh, it looks like I can go here and win the queen, but that's probably not it. I Do I have some? Oh, I, whoops. When they moved their queen, they quit defending this pawn. If I take that pawn, that's check. They would not be able to block it. They would have to move back there. And then that would be mate, I think. That is checkmate, okay. I have a couple of points to go to get back to where I lost the points on that previous puzzle that I didn't understand. Still thinking about that. It's still bothering me. I, I mean, I guess I figure out why their solution was slightly better, but it didn't look like my position significantly improved. I, but maybe that's why I do not win more chess games, because I don't understand those locked up middle game positions very well. I don't know why that is. It might just be I need more practice. Okay, here we are. Close to even on material, but it looks like my opponent has an extra pawn. It might be canceled out by this. Let's see. Do I have any checks? Not with the knight, I don't. I do have a check with the rook, but it's not really promising. Oh, I have a check with the pawn. That is interesting because the rook is cutting off all of this, including the pawn, which is checking. So the pawn's guarding that square. My knight, as previously mentioned, can go to those two squares. So that leaves the king two choices. And from both of those places, I can fork and win their rook for free. So I think that's it. Okay, fork double attack, decoy deflection. That sounds great. That puzzle only has a 51% pass rate out of 142,000 attempts. I have time for a couple more, depending on how long it takes me to solve them. I have a checkmate here, I, that's pretty sure. And then that, and then this. Okay, that was a incredibly easy compared to the one that I failed a few puzzles ago. And yeah, and it has an 83% pass rate. Well, then I have time for a couple more, depending on how long it takes me to solve them. Oh, this one's much harder. Wait, is it? I have a check, but then their king goes there, so I don't think that's it. What should I do? Wait, I can keep their king from moving. If I move my rook over one, their king won't be able to move at all, but then their rook would take this. So that wouldn't be great, and that would be threatening my bishop. I could advance this pawn, but they could take my bishop, and then if I advance the pawn, then they would get behind it. Okay. Should I move the bishop now to threaten that past pawn, which can't go anywhere? Hmm. Or, 
Another option, we should look for checks first. That is a check, but as I said, they could come this way. But when they do, I can take their rook. Then if they promoted, I could take whatever they promoted to. Okay, so that, that might work. And I have a whole extra piece, right? I'm playing with the black pieces, right? So check, their only legal move is to come out. I take their rook. They could take mine, but if they do, I'll take their pawn and I'll have an extra piece. I'm going to try that because it looks like I come out ahead because these are very forcing moves. Oh, and it stopped there. I calculated just a little too far, but I calculated that if they promote, I have a piece here ready to take it. If they go toward that, um, I take this. And if they take my rook, I take this and I, and then my bishop gets away and I have a bunch of extra pawns. Okay. One more theme was rooks on the seventh. I, I'd probably not, but next puzzle. I am playing with the black pieces. This, this is protected. Do I have a check? I do have a check, but that's not good. I have a check over here. That's pretty good because that hits here and here. The pawn guards that square. The bishop guards these two, and the, that's just mate. Okay, mate in one. Let's add that as a theme. Well, I didn't get quite as many total as I did in the previous couple of videos because I think on average they're starting to get harder. Even some of the checkmates here uh, required enough seconds that I didn't get the full bonus or whatever, so I got five or six points for some of the puzzles, and I failed one according to that graph and according to my memory of the past few moments, which I still have, so that's one reason I started getting back into chess, by the way, is because now that I'm past 50, there's a greater chance that my, you know, your mind starts breaking down. So I think it helps to constantly keep it active by learning new things, practicing chess puzzles. I'm also trying to learn Spanish and so forth. I don't know if that'll help. I might just be one of those people whose mind starts breaking down over time, but it seems like it should help, right? Hope it doesn't break down while I'm in the middle of growing this channel because that would be embarrassing. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for spending your time here. I do appreciate it. Appreciate all the comments, all the suggestions, but basically just your time. We'll see you next time.